If I Were a Carpenter. This is uh, originally by Bobby Darren here, uh, also covered pretty nicely by Robert Plant. Uh, this version here I'll be showing you is based more so on the uh, Bobby Darren version. It's kind of that uh, heavy uh, acoustic picking style. And uh, it's just kind of a, uh, you know, a one arpeggiated technique that, um, you know, once you get it down, you can pretty much just incorporate it through these different chord changes. And uh, the chord changes are actually pretty uh, basic. There's nothing, you know, once you get the vibe of the song, you kind of just uh, go with the flow there. So just to kick it off, there's kind of this uh, intro here where uh, a D chord's just kind of getting picked through. And uh, you kind of want to do uh, a couple of just quick strums on the, the D chord here, just... Okay. And then we're going to pick through this, uh, and, you know, how we're picking through this here, uh, you can pretty much pick any time you're doing a D chord in a song, you can just pick it the same way, and it's uh, just fine. And, you know, nothing's super locked in with these uh, arpeggiations here. You know, if you want to kind of jump some strings here and there and hit a little different, you know, no big deal, just as long as you get that, you know, arpeggiated vibe going on. Okay, so like I said, just a couple of quick strums here. It's a little down up there. And then we're going to do open D to the second on the G, three on the B, back to second on the G. Okay, so we're just basically going down through the chord and back up because we're going to hit that open D again and then just kind of skip over to the B string on the three. So something like... So like I said, just a couple quick strums and then follow through with the picking. Okay, and I'll switch back to here because it's easier here. Just wanted to show you what I was doing there. Something like that. All right, and once you get that, you know, down pretty well, that's pretty much how you want to like pick through a D chord any time in the song here, and you'll you'll get through just fine, I think. Okay, so we just go through that a couple measures worth. All right, and now we're gonna do this little bit here that happens in the intro. And it'll also happen uh, kind of in these post verse sections where we kind of split a measure up with chords. And the first half of the measure will be this picking through a C, which uh, we'll just pick right down through the the 3A, 2D, open G, okay, and then back up to the 2 on the D, so, alright, so that's half the measure, and then the second half of the measure will be this G, so we'll come up here, just go to the 3E, 2A, and then just hit the G open, and then the D open. So, All right, so you put that together and it just kind of reels off in that whole measure. Something like that. And like I said, you know, if you you want to hit a different string in there somewhere, or you know, you want to hit a different note of that chord, you know, what you think sounds better, it's up to you. I think it would just go over just fine. It's just kind of a rough outline of the type of arpeggiating you want to do here. Okay, so that'll be uh, that measure there, and then we'll get back to that D chord, and like I said, just pick it the same way we did at the start. Okay, and then we're just going to uh, toss in a couple more extra buffer measures there, the D chord, just uh, till the verse gets started there. And then you hear their vocal come in a bit. All right, so then that whole section. All right, and now we'll get into the verse. And uh, this, you know, it's the C, G, and the D chord. Uh, same chords we've been dealing with here, but we just kind of space them out a little different in the verse. 
uh, with the verse, we want to do a full measure of this C chord. So uh, we're going to add in a couple extra notes in this arpeggiation. So we'll do the 3, 3A, 2D, 3A. And now we go up even higher through the chord. We can do like the 1B, open G, second D, back to open G. So something like... Okay, just reel that off. So that's the first measure. Okay, then we go to our G chord, kind of do it similar fashion, where we do the uh, 3E, 2A, 3E. Okay, and we just pick through the middle of that as well, just kind of these open strings here, like D, G, to the A, to the D again. Something like that. So it would be... get back to our D chord for a couple measures. Okay, so then you just put that whole verse progression together. You know, this is also the progression that's happening in the middle there when we get that kind of orchestrated string section. It's just the verse progression. All right, and after the uh, first couple verses there, and this will happen again after like the third verse, um, we kind of get this little bit that I alluded to in the intro where we uh, just kind of do this little turnaround where we do we split up the measure where we do C half the measure. Okay and then just reel off a G for the last half of it. Okay, the same thing we were doing in the intro there. And then we get back to our D chord. Okay, it's just a quick little thing that happens after uh, a couple verses. All right, and then we get this interesting little thing that happens here. It's kind of like a really short bridge, I guess you would say. Uh, and it's like just, uh, just as the... Uh, third verse is about to start, there's this little uh, line of chords that come in, and it's just kind of interesting, it's just dropped in there. And uh, it kind of switches things up a bit, adds a new chord. Uh, it's going to do kind of how the verse starts, where we do our uh, C chord for what measure. Okay, but now we go to a D, and now here, uh, the interesting thing is we split up a measure, we do a a uh, bit of an E minor chord by doing a hammer on open D to second, and then we just pick an open B and G. Okay, and then quickly we go to a C chord. Okay, just pick through that the A, D, the B, and the G. So it's something like just a quick little thing that happens there. And we get back to our D chord for a couple measures. Okay, so uh, that whole line just before the third verse there. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.